Hi, this is Edwin Abrahamian with Ceratech. Welcome to our tips and tricks tutorial series. Today we'll be diving into FiberSim. Namely, we'll be showing you um, how to create a PSO, parametric surface offset. We'll also be creating a curve within FiberSim, and then we'll be creating a 3D cross section. So let's dive into FiberSim. First thing I'm going to show is what I've created. So I have two laminates, one being the OML, the other being the overcore, which was generated from the parametric surface offset. We have a rosette defined. And then we have four layers, two being on the original tool surface and two being on the overcore. And lastly, we have our core. So if we go into our PSO, I'm going to show you the options that I've selected. So in this particular instance, we have our extended boundary type. We also have ramp generation check because I want to see the actual ramps created from the core. You can then go ahead and select your last component. So in this case, it's my core. And then I did a join surface to actually create uh, the ramps, the top surface here and the surface down here all joined together. So I'll show you what that looks like. So after it's created, there's a group that's created called PSO001. That was the name that was given by default. And as we dive in here, you can see the IML overcore. So this is the overcore or parametric surface offset surface. And you can see the concavity from the actual core itself. So we can dive back into our model now, but we'll be playing around with the original tool surface. And as we dive back in, now that you've got a glimpse of the parametric surface offsets and what that entails, we're going to go ahead and create a 3D cross section. But first, we'll be creating a curve within FiberSim itself. So that's tools, curve creation, curve creation. You can select your surface, which is already selected here, and you can select some points to then define our curve. So I want this curve to lie um, across the core here. So my selection, I'm going to do inferred point. I'm going to select a point on the end here and then on the opposite end as well. So as I do that, I can then confirm and create that curve. So this curve now lives within NX. So if I transfer this model to someone else, this is a curve in my tree. So now I can go into documentation and I can go into 3D cross section and create a 3D cross section. So from here, I can name it whatever I'd like. I can go ahead and uh, select my laminate. So in this case, I want to select my OML. I can then select my curve. So this is the curve that I just generated. Now you have some options here for component types. You can do plies or layers. You can do your net, uh, select your net boundary or your extended boundary. In this case, I'll just keep those the same. Here, it's your scaling. So I actually do want to scale this so I can better see my 3D cross section. So I'm going to do a scale of five here and a scale of one for my core. You have different styles. So I want to see it draped. You can do lines or rectangles. We actually do rectangles in this instance. We can go ahead and generate the cross section. So you can see here the colors coordinate or are associated to the orientation of that ply. So we have a zero degree ply. I think we have a 45, I believe. And you can see how it drapes over the actual core itself. So this is a great validation tool. Um, you can also put this into your drawings and you can also create the actual cross-section geometry so it stays within your tree or within your model. So if you transfer this model to somebody else, they'll also be able to see that cross-section as a validation of your design within Fibersyn. So that concludes the video. Basically what you saw was a parametric surface offset, uh, what that looks like, what is created within your within NX from performing that, that function. We then showed you how to create a curve within FiberSim itself. And then we went ahead and showed you how to create a 3D cross section. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, this was Edwin from Serotech. And please follow us and subscribe to our channel for more uh, content. Thank you very much and have a good one. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.